welcome to my channel it's Linnell and today we're watching Revolutionary Girl Utena episodes 16, 17, and 18. So you guys probably thought I abandoned this series but I have not. I don't know what happened. Before I knew it like months have passed since I reacted to this. I don't know well I guess I do know what happened. I I got sidetracked by other shows. The holidays happened and I've been working a lot and somehow I just forgot. <laughs> but I am finishing the series and I'm going to try to finish it sooner than later. I still love this show. I love everything about it. I love the art. I love the story. I think it's so interesting. I kind of should have um, prepared better for this series because it's long and I kind of just like went into it without really thinking about how many other stuff that I'm like reacting to. But to show you guys that I have not forgotten about this series, as you can see since I last recorded a reaction to this show, I'm in a new, like I'm still in the same room but I have like stuff set up and right behind me, like right here, I have a Utana artwork that I created sort of. <laughs> Basically, I found an artwork of Utena that I really loved and I made it into a really, really, really big canvas. And if I move my head, you guys can see it right there. And there's like, I made this other canvas too and she's there too. And in person, it's so beautiful. It's huge. <laughs> I forgot the um, dimensions, but I found this artwork. I made it more high quality and then I made it into a big canvas. And I'll insert an up close video right now. Utena, I love the series. I'm gonna collect all the manga too, I've decided. So let's get back into the series. I remember that we were on that arc with those two boys who want to become the the two boys who are trying to take Utena and Anthe's place as like the Rose Bride and her fiance. And I kind of remember what happened last time. Wasn't it like a recap? Um, I think it was a recap, or no, no it wasn't. Hmm. <laughs> this is what happens when you don't watch a show for months, you forget everything. Um, let's just get back into it, I'm reacting to three episodes, and I've decided from here on out, I'm gonna react to three episodes at a time, which will help me get through the series faster, and it will feel like I'm watching a movie or something, because the episodes are pretty short. Thank you guys so much for the patience. Let me know what you think. Let me know all your theories. You can explain everything to me. And thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe and like. And let's go. <laughs> Oh, right. This is a, a. I remember the preview. <laughs> Look at that TV. She is so me. I will watch TV while well, I used to as a kid all night. <laughs> Kore gura 
で驚いてもらっちゃ困るわ今日のパーティーは私のとっておきをお披露目するためにあるんですからこの20カラットのダイヤモンドをいただいたスペシャルペンダントこれを見せれば立ちどころよ Okay, so I just had a lot of technical issues. So I'm so sorry, guys. I had to like change the website and I had to cut out like the intro because it wouldn't work and I watched it like too many times. So sorry about that, guys. Is this the episode where she turned into a cow? Is that like a fashion brand? Yeah. Dior, right? Wait, she doesn't like jury? So just because it's designer that makes it good. She forgot to do that thing that they do in the old anime, was it? <laughs> she forgot to do that. I hope the volume is good. This video player, it sounds low. But sometimes it'll sound low, but then when I listen to it after it's recorded, it'll be too loud. Look at Choo Choo! I miss Choo Choo! It's huge, that cowbell. And she's just wearing her dual outfit? It's for cows, right?
Yeah, she's wearing it everywhere. Uh, does she think that just because it's like expensive designer, that means that it looks good? And that does happen in real life too. <laughs> like people will buy designer sneakers that look like they've been worn a, a bunch of times just because they're designer. Or though there's like designer bags that look like trash bags, like literal trash bags. People will, will wear them because it's designer. You're like 13. It's something cows wear. Boy, girl. I wonder what the metaphor is <laughs> for this episode because I don't understand. Are they saying that because she bought a cowbell, she's a cow? She can literally fit through those bars. <laughs> So they're saying that she- oh, she had a bad dream. Okay. That she was a cow and got slaughtered. Is it- does she just want to stand out? Why is she wearing her duelist outfit? Is she like be becoming a cow? <laughs>
<laughs> Not her mooing. <laughs> That's so it's kind of creepy, actually. Suwap Suwapaki? Suwapuki. Did she turn into a cow? Oh, it's cute that Suwabuki. He really cares about her. It's really adorable. ネコの首にくずをつければいいんです。あれですよ。だからお約束通りオイラだけは逃しまず、まず、まず。すごい自得ですよね。確かに。This is such a weird episode. <laughs> It's just a cowbell. Cow-stand. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so she thought wearing that cowbell would make her more popular. She really turned into a cow. Yeah, this is definitely a weird episode. 
I like that it, it, as a cow, she still has her duelist uniform on. Possessed by brand names. I like brand names. <laughs> well, the one brand I really like is Vivian Westwood. <laughs> Look at you, Chu! Not a nose ring. She's gonna have a huge nose ring. Yeah. She's gonna have a huge nose ring, isn't she? I want to see it. <laughs> Oh, this is a new outro. Hmm. Okay, sorry if this reaction seems kind of disjointed. I'm having a lot of technical issues. And yeah, it's really annoying. I thought that girl, like, I don't know why, but I thought she died or something. <laughs> My stomach's growling. <laughs> I love the plot twist on Jury's story. It's I love it. Oh, so she just came back. ゲームよりできたどうかよろしくねいやこちらこそこの子もうるっす優里さんとはほとんど一緒に育ったようなものねうん優里さんは昔から好きだった強かっこよくてメニュー浮かぶようだな<笑><笑> So, why did you think that she had a crush on that guy and why did you try to steal him? I want to rewind to see what she said. 
but I'm having technical issues and I'm afraid if I rewind, my computer will like go crazy. So. あ、先輩。わざと言ってる。僕たちはこのバラの棘が必要なんでしょ。そうですね。誰よりも美しく、誰よりも危険なバラの棘なんです。店長を撃てなんて大切。え、<笑> そうです。その時、妹は指にはい、そうです。信じられない。I forgot that ねえ、あんたがいつもやってる子だ。どういう意味？新聞はもう終わりなのかい？ねえねえ、心でさ。どんな気分ですか？何がだろう？今ってるでしょ？やっぱり痛い？どんなことより問題は今後の対策だよ
Shuri, even though it seemed like maybe she was more jealous of the guy than of Juri. Okay, when did Utina start talking to Anthe's brother? It seemed like Shiori, it didn't matter who she thought Juri loved, she probably would have tried to take them. Oh, she threw away the picture. Oh, there she's going to realize it's her. Oh, okay. So all along she's just been jealous of Jory. Yeah. But if it was anybody, she would have tried to take them because she's jealous of Jury. But did she look at the picture? Did she did she see that Jury loves her? No, you didn't. See, that's why I didn't like Shuri. I knew it.
Did she take her sword? ゲートのパンツくらい。だけど三枚も重ねて履くかね。やっぱりダメだ。おしゃれのナイスドレッサーで通ってるこの私がゲートのパンツを履いてるなんて。俺も三枚ね。このままじゃお嫁に行けない。
星の毒を吸えばまた使える時もあるだろう人が変わったみたいだね、シュールさん。どうですかだって、あの人も変わってませんよ、全然。それじゃダメよね、研究者は語る。<笑>こんにちは、ジュリさん。や、yeah.。Oh, is um, Anthony trying to say that、uh, Shiori is like fake? So did they erase her memory of knowing that Jory is in love with her or was in love with her? And she still is in love with her. But then again, she's known her since they were kids, so they've known each other since they were kids. <laughs> ね。So that's what Nanami was talking about. The swords coming out of the chest. Suwapuki? Is that his name? Suwapuki? Why is that hard to pronounce? Are they going to get him and make him a duelist? I hope not. He's so adorable. Nanami, you're 13. Shut up. And Suwabuki, how old is he? 11? <laughs> Right, you can't. If she doesn't like you, she doesn't like you. <laughs> she got him twisted. ナミさんのそばにいた方が楽しいですから。
さっきの子可愛かったわねどどこがですかあんなやつ彼女幼馴染みですパダンバニーこれパーティーでもするの割るなよこれは明日のナナミちゃんのお弁当なんだからこれ全部おかしいか分かってないわねおい人が買ってきたものを勝手に食べるなよいくら作ったって美味しいとこだけ食べられて逃げられちゃうんだから<笑>、うん、女の勘あいつはそういう毒グモみたいにいやらしいく周りからじわじわ取り込んでいくのよねお前にはナナミさんの良さはわからないよわかるもん女の勘よ How old is she? A twelve? <笑>食べてもらえるんだったら僕は本能だけどいやらしいどうしていやらしいのさ大人になればわかるわよ<笑>おいこれいいよ食べてそんなチョコ食うかい It's so funny how, like, they make the middle schoolers and the elementary school kids, they make them look like the middle schoolers are babies compared to the elementary school kids. Which is so funny. Because middle school kids are babies, like, to me. Oh, yeah, he definitely wants Suwabuki as a duelist. You're a child. <laughs> but it's like when you are a middle schooler, you, you think like the high schoolers are so adult and grown, and you think the elementary, sc elementary school kids are such kids. <laughs> No, not at all. They're like, Heavy, what have you done? <laughs> They're like, And what is that that they've done? <laughs> I hate that they like were talking about like adult stuff they've done and it goes to Anthe's brother when in the other episodes it implied that they've done stuff together, Anthe and her brother. Ugh, so gross. <laughs> I don't like Anthe's brother, but I love his design. I love brown skin anime characters. I I wish there was way more. They're so underutilized. Dark skin anime characters. Like... That's one thing I love about this series. I love that they have dark skin characters in it. More anime needs to do that. Yes, Suwabuki.
Oh, great. He's going to think kissing makes you an adult. <laughs> no, it does not make you an adult. お前最近鬱陶しいぞ。なんで僕に付きまとうんだよ。どうして形から入ろうとするかなあ君は。自身聞く満載見たやつよりも本物の危機に近いしたやつの方が大人に決まっていいじゃない。君の奥か。ああ
He gets two swords? <laughs> ね、じゃあね。初めてだったの。何お前は父ちゃんに黙って。どこで出す車の中だそうです。なんだとべらぼうめ。まあ、まあ、あなた。さっきだけ叱ったけど、後悔はしてないわ。ま、初めての乗り
次回、少女革命ウテナ、今はなき王国の歌、絶対いいね、目視だし。First episode 16. I don't understand.、Um, Minami turned into a cow. And I'm sure there's like some type of <laughs> metaphor, but it was just a weird episode. It was funny though. It was weird and funny at the same time.、And、then we had、um, the last episode with Juri. I mean, episode 17 with Juri. Juri finds out Juri is in love with her, but Juri didn't actually like the guy that she took from. Jury. She just hates Jury and wanted to take what she thought Jury loved. And of course, she's just jealous and doesn't like Jury or whatever. I kind of figured that was the case. I kind of wish that she loved Jury, but maybe she does. And we'll find out more as、um, this show goes on because Jury still loves her for some reason. Even though I think Juri understands that Shiori doesn't like her and is just has been jealous of her since they were kids, but Juri is in love with her. So we'll see where the story goes because I don't think it's the end. And then with episode 18, we have Tsuwapuki. <laughs> he just wants to be an adult so he can be with Nanami. I still don't know what his age is. And it's just funny how they treat him like such a kid when they're all kids. All of them. It's just so funny. <laughs> And I didn't ship Nanami and Tsuwapuki, but I don't think their age difference is that big. I only ship them once Tsuwapuki like, becomes a teenager. Then I ship them. Because I don't even. I think Nanami's 13, and I'm. I think Tsuwapuki is like 11. I actually like Tsuwapuki. He's a. I think his character is really cute, and his relationship with Nanami is adorable. <laughs> and how much he likes her is really adorable. And she seems like she's starting to like him, but like I said, I don't ship them until like five or six years in the future. <laughs> so, yeah, sorry that this took so long to make. I had a lot of technical issues making this reaction. You guys don't even understand, but I really enjoyed these episodes. Like I said, I'm gonna do three episodes at a time now, so I'll finish even sooner. Thank you guys so much for watching this with me. Let me know. Just, you guys can explain the episodes to me if you want. I like reading your comments and your analysis of, of the episodes, so definitely leave them. Don't forget to subscribe and like, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!